This is Dr. Jazz Chahal for Therapia. Let's take some time to talk about hip replacement surgery. If you've been diagnosed with hip osteoarthritis, the symptoms you are likely experiencing include pain, morning stiffness, and you likely have some functional limitations. Examples include pain with general mobility, putting on your shoes or socks, and movements that rotate your hip. If you are at a point where non-operative treatment such as physiotherapy has not been effective, then a total hip replacement is a possible treatment option for you. To understand how a hip replacement works, let's do a brief overview of hip anatomy. The hip is a ball and socket joint. The socket side of the joint is called the acetabulum, and the ball is the head of your femur. Hip osteoarthritis results in wear and tear on the bony surfaces of the acetabulum, the femoral head, and the shock absorbing cartilage in between. With a hip replacement, disease cartilage and bone are replaced with prosthetic implants. An uncemented total hip replacement with a metal on polyethylene socket is the most common procedure performed in North America today. In this model, you will notice that a total hip replacement has been performed to replicate an actual hip joint replacement. The acetabular side has been replaced by a metal socket or a metal cup, which is in turn lined by a plastic or polyethylene liner. The femoral side has been replaced by a metal prosthesis within the femoral canal, as well as a prosthetic femoral head. Both of the implants on the acetabular side and the femoral side are fixed in place without cement. Over time, this technique relies on bone tissue ingrowth from the patient's body to stabilize the new components into place. In other parts of the world, for example Europe, cement can be used to fix both the femoral stem and the acetabular socket into the patient's body. Following surgery, most patients require a hospital stay for three to five days in Canada. Recovery can take several months and doing the right physical therapy to regain range of motion, strengthen the appropriate muscle groups, and optimize mobility are absolutely vital.